The impact of this hit and run in Silver Lake is loud and clear on the security camera video, but who the driver is not so clear. Tonight, the LAPD is looking for whoever slammed into a biker and then sped off. Sending the victim to the hospital with some serious injuries. Kick on Ion's Rachel Kim is live in downtown with details and the victim's message tonight. Rachel? Well, Jeff and Susie, the victim got out of surgery earlier tonight and was in a lot of pain, but he made it very clear he wants the driver who hit him caught. Security video shows a Mini Cooper slamming head on into a bicyclist. The violent collision happened in Silver Lake on the 3000 block of Berkeley Avenue around 11.45 p.m. Friday. Four days later, 57-year-old David Molina is in the hospital with serious injuries. Molina uh, flew onto the, uh, the roof, fell off, but unfortunately the driver kept driving up the hill. As Molina tries to recover from a broken leg, a broken arm, and a fractured spine, detectives are searching for the driver of the Mini Cooper seen in this video. <laughs> For witnesses, it's red, but uh, also we have video that might show that it might be a darker color, a different color other than red. But a Mini Cooper with a white roof and the mirrors also had a cap, uh, white caps. Detective Campos says Molina is homeless and lives in the Silver Lake area. Police are canvassing neighborhoods there looking for clues and the car. Yeah, because the driver didn't uh, stop to render aid and identify himself, this driver now faces state prison time, especially with the injuries that the uh, the bicyclist that Dave Molina sustained. As for Mr. Molina, he has this message. I need the driver to please to turn himself in and do the right thing, please. And detectives say there should be damage to the front end of that Mini Cooper. A reminder, there is a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. If you have that information, please call LAPD Central Traffic Detectives. Reporting live tonight in downtown LA, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.